Hi, how are you? I hope you're doing great. <clears throat> My voice is kind of like raspy, more raspy than usually because I went to the Red Hot Chili Peppers concert and it was amazing. I know I saw your message and told me about how was the concert. It was great. Like I was standing up for all the hours of the concert that it feels like it was probably more than two hours. Yes. And it was other bands playing. It's like, um, you know, like opening the concert. So it was insane and it was raining and, you know, we all were super wet um, because it was in a big stadium, the Broncos stadium from football in Denver. So it was amazing, that concert, <laughs> in case you wonder. If you can make it, because they are doing a tour and I know they're going to be also in Florida. Yeah, and uh, uh, I think it's in August because my sister, she lives in, in Miami and she's going there. So that's gonna be super cool. <laughs> now, let's do this cool design. This design is a very cool design and I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it, all of you. So the only thing you will need, and this is the, the cool thing about adding uh, this extra balloon in your case, if you wanna make something bigger, but at the same time, you don't wanna get those balloons 650, you know, there's um, usually balloon twisters that they start doing balloon decor and you have probably leftovers of round balloons and also quick link balloons. So there are quick, link, quick links, like a six, six inch round or five, you know, but there are other quick links that are 11 or 12 inch round. What I like about the ones I get, it's Decomex, it's cheap, uh, compared to other brands and it's good so i'm going to show you the shape we're going to make and you're going to be able to see what is this look at this cute figurine look at that detail because using quick links look you can have the rest for this awesome tail like a fox tail and it's all connected with balloons that means there is no glue dots which is really cool and it's just three balloons skinny balloons the 260 you can combine 160 whatever you have available and then the quick link that in decomex you can find it as linking balloons so i'm sure you already know about this but if you don't have quick links uh, or linking balloons from decomex try with any brand that they have you know this type of balloons for balloon twisters, we can do a lot of things. So I already showed you the elephant that it was amazing. I won the second prize at the Bling Bling Jam Balloon Convention competition under 10 minutes figuring, and it was the elephant. So now it's gonna be this design that I'm gonna show you, and I think it's gonna be really cool. So it's a fox, yeah, it's a very cute fox. Look how it can stand, you can always add that wristband. And I think it's a very cute idea. I think this can be also under for sure 10 minutes, it can be if you practice probably five minutes design what do you think well it's a very cute chubby fox now me things may change yeah but i think i'm gonna keep most of the things the same way i add here a pinch twist because that way it makes the nose a little you know up and doesn't fail but you don't have to add any pinch twist i recommend you at least a little one okay very little one and so this is can be a little bit bigger the black one so let's start. First, you know, um, we're gonna play, you better inflate all these balloons, these balloons. Now, I'm very flexible and I hope you are flexible too with the idea that you have to play with what you have with you. So if you have a 350 wide, you know, use it. If you have a 160 wide, use it. 260, whatever you have available, try play with that. It's gonna still look, I think, like a fox. It's just the proportion is gonna be a little bit different, but it's okay. It can be in a cartoonish or your own interpretation or whatever you have available, so it's fine. I have, for example, here, this is a 160, the orange. It's an orange 160 Decomex, which is cool because it's uh, white. I didn't have orange 260, so I, I'm using 160. Then, white 260 this is i think qualatex i can feel it and this one it's a decomex black 260. so play with what you have available inflate all the balloons approximately like eight or nine finger tail okay all eight or nine finger tail so you have those three ready sometimes and this is happening to me especially for if you're going to be fast 
There are things that you already know what is going to happen. You know, if you have the design already in your mind, you've been practicing the figuring, so you know what is coming. It's going to be the black for what? For the legs, you know, the bottom legs, the legs that are like more arms, you know, and the nose. So let's do that because you can do it right now, and I think it's going to work. Uh, so you just need to make two finger loop locked. Another two finger loop, twist, then two finger bubble, pinch twist, and then you decide how long you want the legs. But I was thinking approximately four finger bubble and another four finger bubble. Remember, things doesn't have to be perfect. You just try and do your best. Sizes, things may change, it's okay. So you have this, look, very simple legs. Okay, look at that. Now, you're gonna cut, save your balloon, because you're gonna use it for the, the arms. So you save it for a moment, boom. Now you tie it, this so it's secure. Then what else you're gonna do? You're gonna make the arms. What I did for the arms, very soft and squishable, four finger bubble, soft and squishable, because you can bend it, and it looks like it's hanging, so you can bend it in a moment. So. So soft and squishable, okay? Soft and squishable, twist, 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 like it's approximately four or five finger long, and then twist, 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 and then four and soft and squishable, another four or five finger long. And then the rest you're gonna cut and save this all the way to the end. So you're gonna save all the way, the little bubble, something like this. And that's gonna be the nose. Okay, so make sure you tie things so it doesn't get and twist or tie. So you have the nose here you're gonna have this for the arms very simple yes because also it's important to you know be fast if you want to do this for very party so i'm just right now cutting the excess of these things so you have this this because you twist it very well here it's soft and squishable soft and squishable approximately 10 or 11 finger long soft and squishable now you have all this now that's the the black balloon Let's go um, with um, the quick link or linking balloon. So there it is. I like the idea, if it's possible, give it um, air here in this part. Why? Because then it's gonna be easier to squish the air all the way up. So this is what I do. You're gonna put it all the way to your balloon inflator. This is the same technique we did for the elephant. And then you're gonna inflate and keep it a moment there stay there so then that part is still you know like stretching all the balloon and then try to keep inflating if you're losing the air it's fine inflate just in total look it's coming out the air it's fine in total something like this so you're gonna tie it close to the nasal and this same idea we did for the elephant so at the end the 11 inch round you just inflate it like what bigger than the palm of your hand. This is approximately what, six inch round, approximately. Look at this way to do it. Now, you're gonna just here, for example, a squish here to make just like approximately four or a hand bubble, and then you're gonna make it into a pinch twist. It's soft and squishable. So look, I have here the nozzle, okay? I'm pinching, and all this, I'm gonna grab it and twist. One, two, three. You can lock them, of course, you can always lock things, just in case, lock them, so pass the nozzle, just like tie in there, and you have something like this, okay? Now, the rest, you're gonna squish the air, and then also, look how I'm doing it. So I squish the air, and kind of like measure here how long you want the tail to be, so I'm just, have something like this look okay so things are soft and squishable so that's good you do this very well now you can start attaching things like for example here the legs but it's gonna be tricky because there is no connection yet so what I recommend you is like you can have this for a moment here it's already twisted so you have it there and you can start making this part that is gonna be approximately three finger long 
a little bubble, very little. Look, a one finger bubble, pinch twist. Okay, you have something like this. Then you're gonna make another three finger bubble and connect it together. Okay, twist it. That's gonna be part of the mouth. Then you're gonna make one cheek that is approximately four finger loop. And when you have that, you know, you love things always. You can always, you know, grab this and attach it right here in this part. So you can do that. Now, remember, you can do this even before. You can learn from my mistakes. You know, you don't need to twist the tail yet, but I did, and so I don't wanna lose it. So I'm just passing it around. Look at the pinch twist, the way it is. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna um, show you what I have here. So I connect this, is the bottom. Here's gonna be that black nose in a moment. Here we have a loop that is approximately four finger loop. And we're gonna go to the other side to make another four finger loop, okay? So I'm gonna try to do that without losing the tail. But look, if in case you're losing the tail, it's okay. This can wait, really. This can be at the end. So let's keep focusing here on the head, okay? Look, you have this, another four finger loop. Remember, things doesn't have to be perfect. You just try and do your best, okay? So you just pass this through there. That's it. Now, what else here? You can always grab this piece, cut it. Oh, dummy, you shouldn't cut it. No, you're gonna end up here and then you have to go all the way down. Ah, oh, Cecilia. Now I'm losing my look. Well, don't make this mistake. If that happened to you, it's okay. Nothing is a big deal. Nothing really matters that much. Only. One important thing I think will matter, and it's not you know the idea to you worry right now. <laughs> so you just have fun, enjoy. That happened, there's a solution. Look at the pinch twist. The pinch twist is like this. Now this we're gonna make twist. You can have it like this for a moment. So you have something like that. Now imagine you didn't pop it. You're gonna end up with this balloon to 60 white all the way to here to the center. So just go around. All the, here, all the way here, look. And that is gonna help separate the whole leg stick, okay? The whole, um, yeah, the legs. So now we're gonna squeeze here the way we did it. Look, squeeze and kind of separate how much you want to for to be the tail. So I have it just like this. You have to practice, use your, stretch your hands, use your chest. And now this goes all the way down, okay? all the way down yep now usually you will have enough balloon to use this for also um the end of the tail the end of the tail but because i did that mistake and i don't have it so it's okay if that happened use this tip for the legs so you just connect the legs look pass it through and pull and pass this around a couple times and pull and tie so, you know, keep it there because there's no any other balloon going to that point. So, trying to lock things down. Now, you have something like this. Okay, so look at that. Usually, you will have leftover. This is how it's looking so far. You will have leftover of the white to make the end of the tail. So, I don't because I, by my mistake, getting excited, I pop it. So now I'm looking for a balloon scrap, and you will see it's not like you need much, but the good thing is you're gonna, for example, have something like this left over. Okay, so you're gonna just squish the air all the way up, make a, like a two finger bubble, and then two finger bubble, pinch twist, and another two finger bubble, pinch twist. You are welcome to make another pinch twist, that's totally fine, you can do that. But in my case, what I'm gonna do is grab. This piece, look how I have this. Pass this around a couple of times. There's always gonna be a tip there. And this, you can lose the air, okay? In a moment, you can do, you're gonna lose the air of this bubble because you just have the end of the balloon and two pinch twists. So this is a leftover. In a moment, you're gonna lose the air and that's gonna be the one that is gonna help you to attach all the way here. You will see. But we have to now use our orange balloon. So, graph, this is, I remember, a 160 Deco Max. If you, don't, if you have 260, great, use it. And you're gonna just start 
up my hair. All the way from this pinch twist, attach it there, pass this around, lock things. So you attach it there. Then you're gonna measure approximately four finger long and or yeah, approximately four finger long or three, and it's gonna end up here. Okay, so you just use go around. Then you just end up in one of the sides. Look, in one of the sides you can always open the loops to make things you know fits better there okay now look at this again the pinch twist is not like the wider side it's just this way you see okay let's see now when you are here just gonna measure approximately i was like just using a hand or something approximately like a hand or four finger long kind of yeah then I was going from here all the way to the center of where I see the balloon. So this is the front. I'm going to the center, whatever it is. And I kind of figure that it's like four finger long. Okay. Then another four finger long. Oh no. Um, yeah, you can do a four, four finger long. And then you're going to go up as a triangle. So you're going to make another four finger long. Go down with another four finger long. So you have already one here, there another four finger long and another four finger long so you, you have this like a like this look okay now it, this is the cool part you have to from here you have to all, go all the way to this side and they go down you're looking at the back this is what i see okay so you have to from here this balloon you have to take it all the way to this side and then go down so let's do that. We're gonna pass it again for the center. And one more time. And you can always lock things like rolling it. By rolling it, you can lock things in case you want them. So I have it all the way there. And then from there, it's just measure another four or five finger long. And that's it. Twist. Now, whatever is you have here left over, you can always lose air or you can make it that the end just go and it's get stuck up the back. So if you know you're gonna just use this part that is four or five finger long here. So what you're gonna do with the rest is like you just add before twister, just lose some air and make just a little bubble there. Okay, tie it until you get there a little bubble, like two or three finger long, no more. So you're gonna tie them. So you're gonna get something like that. So whatever you have here, um, something like this, look. You're gonna end up here at the end with two or three finger long. That's it. So look all this space, and that's gonna help you to roll and pull and stop things better there. So it's like um, a way to make things faster. And then the last bubble that we end, we're gonna squish it, pinch trees if you want, and let's keep it there. Okay, so now, you can always remember, open these loops from the white, open it, so accommodate these bubbles in, inside. So you have something like this. Now, this you can always look, it's kind of like bending down, right? Now, let's attach the nose so you can see already the design. So, let's see. I'm going to put the nose, pull in the pinch twist, and then you're going to hide it or take it all the way, all the way to here. And whatever this thing you can fit. Trying to take it, pass it around. Okay, squish there and then accommodate things and you have your nose. This is looking even better than the first one I made. Look at that. Look at this. People are always gonna start looking like this as a fox. You have this piece, remember? So now this piece you just twist it in half. Twist, 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 and you're just gonna pass one in between here. So you just very nice and gentle, pass it, push, accommodate it where you want the arms to be, and you can bend it. So then it's not gonna look so cute, like it's hugging you. So this is the effect. I think it's so cute, look at that. <laughs> look at this, I think it's beautiful. I hope you can make it and have fun. Now look at this, if you keep it like this, it's gonna look like it's sitting. It's not that bad, it's not that. But another cool effect is you can always um, take this all the way, and this is why I was thinking all the way, 
you know and then from here this you can lose the air and pull 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 as much as you can now i'm not losing the oil yet i was thinking what about if i keep it like this you see and then push all the way down so what i did is just remember there was some balloon air here left over i told you we're gonna lose the air and then just pull it and make like a pinch twist this big orange pin twist pinch twist is like a squishing there with the leftover of the 216. so you can do that like this like a line it's going to look like a sharpie line which is really cute or if you have some balloon there we're going to see how it's going to look look you just pass this through there you can always bend this you know and then grab this good some air there um, let's see what happens if we are doing this with some air remember it's just experimenting have fun do you know what you think is gonna look cute you decide but i'm just giving you different choices so look at this effect and you can always do it or avoid it it's up to you i'm gonna show you how this is looking so far um so you can always stretch play with the shape but this is the idea of a very cute fox look at this look at this look at this cutie i think it's very cool you can always think make things better now this is just all about sharpie time sharpie time now let's do that so remember you can always can play with this it's there a little bit of pressure but i think it's not that bad and the thing is also i want this to be simple and easy i don't want to, this to take too long so that's why i'm gonna keep it like this and no more balloons but remember with time this design has lots of potential what that means that you can add more details to this design put here pink pinch twists or or bubbles to make the ears you know pink there or black so that's cool the end it can be a pinch twist black pinch twist black a lot of potential but i, I am just showing you what is coming right now now just the idea that the arms and the legs you know they are black it's totally made that this design look like a fox especially because it's orange and it have this cool tail now what else from here is just sharpie time so grab a good sharpie time or a stickers but the bigger stickers if you can now i know i have a friend that sent me it was diane diane sent me a long time ago stickers or just circled around silver so silver eyes i'm not sure i will show you that in another time but um you know, I'm so happy because I remember people told me at the balloon convention, hey, when you mention my name, you know, it makes me happy. And I want to mention all of you. And this time I'm going to go with Kelly. Yes. Who's Kelly? It's a person that was watching the video. She's from Hawaii. And I have the pleasure to meet her in person at the Bling Bling Jam this just past week. And it was wonderful because, you see, this is the idea i'm sharing with all of you and she's so cool that every day i share she always makes things even better and i'm sure all of you can do that so don't forget try experiment you know give it a try and share it in the comments you all your comments all your ideas are very 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 well welcome yes so do it you know so that way other balloon twisters watching this video can see in the comments more ideas what to do with this technique okay and now i was thinking eyes so i'm just gonna go simple white sharpie i love these white sharpies are really cool these ones from sharpie brand and this white thick okay so now you just make a circle and then the other side a circle and then you can just make some eyelashes you know make it your stand you can even make here a little bit of eyebrows why not and pretty much this is the design another detail you want to do well you can make it some green you so you can pass just some green green around but with orange you know it's kind of hard to make the difference about green and other colors you know 
so what it can be cute it's if you just grab for example some white shake it and just pass around the white to give it some contrast i'm going to show you how it's looking in a moment so you just do this you see some white and also in the center because this is a very cute way fast to make everything cuter look at that ah! <laughs> i love this box it's now gonna be my favorite i can't wait when a kid asks me for a box and i'm gonna have a bunch of these quick links or linking balloons and play with that now if you have only six inches link column try just use 160 balloons for the rest so it's gonna be just smaller but still looking like a fox okay so remember things are flexible you just use what you have available with you you use it as much as you can and experiment and try to make something with the balloons you already have you know so this channel i love because it's like um it's a tool for all balloon twisters to go back check out again things that i'm sharing because you follow this channel you know all the things i've been posting you don't have to probably watch the video if you don't need it at the moment but you will remember i know cecilia in cecilia lady balloons channel there is a playlist for different things so this one is going to be for sure in that playlist that says animals so there is already all the type of foxes because you see it can be different ways that one makes this so fun balloon twisting it's do not have to make the same all the time play with it different ways i love just this idea and i wanted to share it with you it have lots of potential yes so have fun and don't forget like comment subscribe follow me on instagram and tag me if you make these designs please tag me i would love to see how you made it and don't forget on the description of all my videos you always always will find ideas how to collaborate with this channel for example, I have a Venmo account that is at Alpaca Global. I have a PayPal account that is at Alpaca Global. And you can donate money because I need to start saving money. I'm doing a lot of really cool things that are going to be in very, very helpful um, for me as an experience. You know, another level of a balloon twister is go to balloon conventions. And I will really would love to go. And it's not just the balloon convention. They invite me to teach a class. And then they say, oh, you're not going to spend anything. No, you will need to spend, you know, your food or, you know, deal with, you know, the, the, the taxi, you know, the Ubers. You have to take some time. It's always money involved. So if you can collaborate donating money, that will be very well appreciated because I will start saving money for my next balloon convention. Now, there is this great opportunity and I'm inviting you, all of you, if you can make it, if you live in Austin, Texas or very close, I'm going to be on September 19 giving like a six hour jam or twisting with you. It's gonna be face to face there. You know all the videos I have on YouTube. This is gonna be the moment that you and me can meet together and make, make, make balloons, share all the tips, you know, and it's gonna be very cool because it's not like we have this opportunity all the time. So if you can make it, it you don't need to register on the whole balloon convention that or oh, entertainment convention in Austin, uh, balloon no austin convention for entertainers starting september 19 all the way to the 22nd or 20 yes all the way to the 22nd but the thing is you don't need to be registered on the whole convention you can just go the first day that is going to be september 19 and just assist to my class it's going to be five hours full of balloon twisting and the cool thing is, especially some figurines that I'm already know I'm gonna be making, I will bring the balloons with me. Why? Because that way you don't have to worry. Oh, I need to get this balloon. I need to get. I'm gonna have balloons ready so we can all twist together. And I think that's a very cool deal. I'm so excited. So if you live in Texas, Austin, Texas, that's where I'm going to be on September 19, 2021, 22. So I hope to see you there. And it's gonna be, believe me. Balloon conventions uh, or a convention, you know, especially for entertainers, that convention, if you want to participate in the whole convention, there's going to be also a lot of face painting, body painting, and it's going to be more like, you know, having fun. So I think you're going to enjoy it. Now, I say all what I have to say, and I'll see you in the next video. Ah, and Kelly, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You're very nice because you gave me the last day you were staying there some chocolates from Hawaii. 
and wow, they're so good. I opened the box and I ate it all. Well, I was happy that I shared it with the people there at the convention, at Blimbling Yam, but most of the box, I think I ate it so <laughs> myself, but uh, it was very, very nice from you. Thank you so much, Kelly. Now I'm leaving. Yes, bye-bye.